I've laid out some components out of the MightyVac MV8500 kit, and I'm going to show the proper setup for doing a vacuum bleed. The MV8510 is the vacuum pressure gun included in the kit. You'll notice we have setting for pressure, setting for vacuum. We'll make sure that our selector knob is set for vacuum. We're going to grab the bottle or a collection reservoir out of the kit, remove the cap, grab the other lid. You'll notice it says to pump. This is the side that's going to connect to the MV8510. When you flip the lid over, the other side, there is a nipple there that goes to one of the short sections of tubing. Make sure you choose the correct one with the correct diameter. Install. I like to leave a little curb towards the inside. And to pump, put our short section of hose on there. You may want to use a longer section when you're actually performing this operation. We'll grab one of the longer hoses to go to our collection point. Install. If you wanted to replace all the fluid in the master cylinder, now would be a good time to use your unit, check up your setup, pull the cap, use the unit to pull all the fluid out, probably have to empty this reservoir several times. Once you're ready to perform the procedure, either top off or use the included components, the correct adapter, the plate, Set that up. This will automatically refill the master cylinder as you're performing your bleed operation. To make our last connections, we're going to need the nipple adapter and a straight connector. That barb fitting in the tubing on the connector. We'll move over. Connect it onto our bleed nipple. And we'll start pulling a slight vacuum. Go ahead and open your bleed nipple and continue pumping from time to time to keep the vacuum up in the reservoir. And you'll see bubbles of air coming through. When there's no more air coming through, you're finished. In some cases, you may see a little tiny line of bubbles, and that indicates usually that there is air leaking around the threads of the bleed nipple. You might need to pull that out, put a little grease around those threads, run it back in, and continue bleeding. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe. You can see all of our products at modivac.com.